you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you never miss a future upload. Today's video is an exciting one because it is my very first video in what I hope will be a wedding series. If you don't know, I am recently engaged. I got engaged at the end of March, so it's been a few months and we're so excited, it's been amazing. I feel like one of the first steps in wedding planning is figuring out who's going to be in your bridal party, if you're going to have a bridal party at all. For me, I went back and forth on that for the last few months because at first I will admit I didn't really want a bridal party. I didn't see like the point of it. That moment of us getting married is between Carlos and I and I just didn't, I guess, feel the need to have anybody else up there. But Carlos actually was the one, which is surprising, who kind of like talked me into it and said, hey, having your best friends up there is like the best feeling ever and they're just there to support you and you have, you know, you have them in the room on day of when you're getting ready and it's just overall a good time. So I was like, you know what? You're right. And I don't want to regret that decision of not having them there standing by my side on the day of. So I decided I am going to have a bridal party. I have three bridesmaids, actually two bridesmaids and one maid of honor and I'm actually going to ask them right after I film this video. Um, we are going to dinner and I already know they're going to say yes, of course. We've kind of talked about it um, and I just say like, I pretty much told them like you guys are all in the wedding. <laughs> Uh, like I said, I have three. One of one of them is my sister, which she'll be the maid of honor. And then I have my god sister and my best friend. So my three best friends ever. I love them so, so much. And I cannot wait to have them standing by my side on the big day. So I didn't want to, of course, ask for this huge favor without giving them some sort of a proposal box. So that is what this video is. I know you probably can tell by the title, but I did not mention it until just now. This video is going to be showing you guys what I have in my bridesmaids proposal boxes. So I am not doing necessarily like wedding colors, like color colors, like lavender or blush or anything like that. Like I just want black and white. And then our venue has lots of brick, lots of greenery and lots of like string lights. And that's just the look I want to go for. So pretty much like if we have flowers, they're all going to be white. Um, I'm just, I'm a plain Jane kind of a gal. I don't know. I just like the look of that. So. Had to stick with the same theme with the boxes. I got just this craft brown box. By the way, everything I talk about will be linked in the description box and I will like verbally state where I got it from, but I like to have the link down there as well in case you guys are wanting any of the items that I have in the box. So I picked these boxes up. There was a 12 pack for I think $12.99. So pretty much a dollar per box, which I thought was a steal. And it is eight inches by eight inches and it's four inches deep. So this is what it looks like. It's just a craft box. That's pretty much it. Then I got this little piece of what I think, I don't really know actually, is like just fake eucalyptus. I got this from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $1.99, um, not on sale. And then I just got, well actually I had this like, um, brown twine. You can get that from Hobby Lobby as well. I think I got mine from Target around Christmas time. Like I said, I already had it. So this is what it looks like. This one I already have wrapped up. I did, I will say, use my Cricut to back here. You can see it to just do the girl's initials. So I knew who, you know, what box was going to who at dinner tonight. Um, originally I wanted to do a black tag, but COVID-19, I don't have time to be going to stores for a black tag. Cricket, we made it work. So moving to the inside of the box, the first thing that they will see is a card. Also that craft brown color. I ordered these cards off of Etsy um, and they're just so cute and they're personalized to look like each girl. So this one is for Sammy and it just says, Sammy, I can't say I do without you. And then of course I wrote a special little note for each girl on the inside, but um, each girl is wearing a black robe. You get to pick the color when you order these cards and the bridesmaids of course say bridesmaid on the back and then the maid of honor will say maid of honor. So I kind of made it look like us. I just thought those were super cute. Once again, ordered them from Etsy and it's the brand or the 
store called Ink and Fred. One thing I will say about these cards is that they took four ever and a day to ship. I think he had to ship them twice because the first one, I don't know if it got lost or if he really didn't ship it, I truly don't know. But they took a month and a half, I would say, to get to me, which to me, I'm very impatient, like I wanted to see the cards and I wanted to like have them in hand, but I knew I wasn't going to propose to the girls until July or August anyway, so it wasn't that big of a deal. But they're just so stinking cute. So this is what Sammy's looks like. So the first item in here is a black tumbler and it comes with a straw as well. I thought this was super cute. I ordered these blank actually on Etsy and then I have a Cricut machine so I did their name in a really pretty cursive. I just really like it and it matches with their black robe on their card. I don't know, I just like everything to be black and white, no like outlandish colors. Um, but I thought having a tumbler would be nice for you know bachelorette party time or if we're hanging out together and we're like doing wedding planning stuff. I mean, who doesn't wanna bring like some ice water or something with them? So I thought that would be handy. I also got myself one, but I got mine in white and then I put black writing on it. Actually, let me show you, hang on. Okay, so this is mine. So mine is just white with black writing, just the complete opposite of theirs. Um, I just thought, like I said, I picture us like getting ready day of. It would be nice to have with like some iced coffee or just water in it. The next thing I put in here, honestly for all of the girls, is an actual bottle of like, I don't know if it's champagne or if it's wine, but my girl Sammy does not drink wine. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I found this glass bottle of sparkling apple juice. And then I got these labels from Etsy and it just says, pop the champagne, I'm changing my last name. Just, you know, that basic saying that everybody, <laughs> everybody uses. But I just thought it was kind of cute to go in there with that tumbler. And then, the next thing is a cookie, and this is just a diamond cookie that I actually made myself. I do have a little cookie side business that I run out of my home, so I thought, you know what, let me make them a wedding themed cookie. So I thought that was cute. Then I found this on Etsy as well, once again with the black, just super simple and basic, and it's just a little hair tie that says bridesmaid on it and on it it says, will you be my bridesmaid and help me tie the knot? So it kind of goes with the hair tie theme. Thought that was cute. And then I just picked up, just because it was gold honestly, this Godiva chocolate caramel chocolate bar. I don't know, super random. Um, and then I found these and it came in a pack of a bunch of different colors. So I think my sister got black. Gigi got like a plum color and then Sam got this gray color, but they are, you think it's just a normal scrunchie. However, it has a zipper here and you can put stuff in it, whether you wanna put like 20 bucks in there or like a chapstick, you can stuff something in there and just even wear it around your wrist. I just thought that was so perfect and I picture this for like, I don't know, day of the wedding when say we're in the hotel room getting ready and we're like, oh shoot, like I need to go get a soda from the vending machine or something. We don't need to take the whole purse. We don't need to do that. Let's just put our money in our handy dandy scrunchie. I just thought it was kind of unique and different. This was from Amazon and I think it came in a pack of five or six. Also, this chocolate bar was from the Dollar Tree. And then last, but certainly not least, I found these little clear pouches from the Dollar Tree and I filled them with Hershey Kisses, but they are not just any Hershey Kisses. They actually say, I do on the little paper. I just thought that these were so cute. It's silver and gold on the wrapper and I just thought it fit the theme well. It was cute. I got a huge bag of these on Amazon. I want to say it was like $10 and I mean a huge box. And then at the bottom of the box all I have are just some like craft colored uh, paper shreds just to kind of keep everything nestled in there and safe. So since my sister is going to be the maid of honor, I decided to throw just a couple extra things in there. So her box pretty much looks exactly the same, except I threw a couple makeup items. I put in the Fenty Beauty Diamond Milk Lip Gloss 
and a Becca blush that is in the color Ooh, Camellia. I just thought it was super pretty when I saw that. So those two are in her box just as like a little something extra, I guess. And then I did want to show you the bottle of the actual alcohol. These are super cute. These are from Target and they are, you get a four pack for like $5.50. Cannot beat that. I also wanted to show you my sister's card, how hers, you get to pick like the hair color and the hairstyle and she always wears her hair down but the styles with the hair down you couldn't see the like her title on her robe so i did that low bun that says made of honor and she is holding a bottle of champagne i forgot to mention that in sammy's card because she doesn't drink alcohol hers um, she's holding a starbucks cup and then in Gigi's, she's holding a margarita so each of those things are just things that remind me of each individual girl that i was super excited that i got to customize so this part is super random but i thought i would share it with you guys anyway um as some of you know my grandma my best friend passed away a couple years ago and it's been tough and i got my one and only tattoo to remind me of her, which is right here on my forearm. She, this is her handwriting and it says favorite. I did put this on Instagram when I first got it. Anytime my grandma would give any of us grandkids a gift or like money around the holidays, she would always, you know, say whatever she needed to say and at the very bottom she would say you're my favorite don't tell the others just as kind of like a joke like you're my favorite grandkid Shh, don't tell the rest so i just picked out that part from one of the cards she wrote me and i got it tattooed it's almost like i'm branded like i'm her favorite um and then my sister got the same exact tattoo my brother and cousin are supposed to get it as well anyway i'm going off on a tangent i kind of brought my grandma into each card. So at the very bottom of each card, I don't wanna show you like what I wrote because it's personal for each girl, but at the very bottom of each girl's card, I put, you know, love you, Nicole, P.S., you're my favorite, don't tell the others. I just thought that was so funny. And like I said, it kind of just like brings my grandma into this moment. We also ended up doing a proposal box for our flower girl, Charlie, my soon-to-be niece. She's the most adorable thing in the world. Um, I did film that a few days ago. She came and stayed with us for 4th of July weekend. So I was wearing completely different clothes. Obviously, I look completely different. It was a totally different day. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that footage here. This weekend, Carlos's niece, Charlie, is coming over and we are going to ask her to be our flower girl for our wedding. Um, I thought this would be the perfect time, so I'm kind of filming this separately, and then I will add it to the end of my bridesmaids proposal boxes. I definitely wanted to make it, you know, something special for her. I wanted it to be something that she was going to enjoy opening up. Uh, she's only five years old, so I didn't want it to be like, I don't know, more serious things or like wedding related things necessarily. I feel like anything that's important that I want her to have day of, I would just give to her like day of. So these are more things that are still themed toward being a flower girl, but nothing like super serious, I guess. I don't know. Just fun little things that I thought she would enjoy opening. So um, I'm gonna go through these items one by one and kind of show you how I box them up. Okay, so let's start off with the box itself. So she has uh, one item actually that's too big to fit in that eight by eight bridesmaid box that I got because I did get quite a few of those boxes and I was hoping I could use them, but it just didn't work out that way. So I wanted to get her a bigger box and it is so difficult to find just a plain, nice box that's not like $30. So I went to Home Goods instead and I found this one and it's a very nice, heavy duty, sturdy floral box that is a really good size. I don't know what size it is. I looked, I know it's by Martha Stewart. Um, it was only $7.99 or seven something. It was like $8, not bad at all. And it's definitely a box that she can reuse. So I thought that was nice. The lid comes completely off and it is polka dot print on the inside. Once again, thought that was super cute. And then all I've done so far is I just put some tissue paper down at the bottom 
And then a bunch, I used three bags from Walmart of these pink paper shreds just to make it nice and fluffy. Cause the box I would say is pretty deep. So I wanted to make sure she didn't like open the box and like have all of the goodies like way down there. I wanted to have a really nice presentation. I'm big on presentation. So a bunch of these shreds and I kind of like fluff them all up. So let's start with the items for inside of the box. The first item I got is from Amazon and I think it's so cute and so perfect. So it is called I'm a Flower Girl and it's an activity and sticker book. So, I mean, I feel like at five years old, maybe she doesn't even know what a flower girl is. So it kind of is like a little story, but also it's like an activity book. I know that there's, um, there's like a little sending out invitations part. So she can like practice, you know, writing out invitations, coloring a pretty wedding dress. Um, what else is in here? The big day. So it pretty, at the bottom it says, can you see five red hearts, four golden horseshoes, three silver bells. So it's kind of like one of those, um, you know, those picture search thingies. I don't even know what they're called. What a pretty pair, match each flower girl to her ring bearer. So there's just like a bunch of fun activities in here. There's in a bunch of stickers in the back. I thought that would be fun and that she would love that. So that is going in the box and then I also got a hardback book for her that's called The Most Special Flower Girl. Thought that would be fun to read maybe like before bed or something. Just something, I'm trying to give her things where she can like, in case she doesn't really know or fully understand what a flower girl is, I just thought that would be kind of special so she can learn a little bit more about the role of a flower girl. So we have the activity book and then an actual like hardback book. Also from Amazon, I found this adorable little white teddy bear and on the little foot it says flower girl and on the other foot there's a little flower. So I thought that was kind of cute. Amazon is just like the go to for everything I'm telling you. So thought that was kind of cute and I didn't want everything to say flower girl, but I also wanted, I mean, this is a flower girl proposal box. So a lot of it does like most of it does. I'm not going to lie. Then from Etsy, I picked up a cute little hair tie that asks, will you be my flower girl? These were super cute. I think they were only like $1.25 or $1.50. And of course it is in pink. Then I picked up a little reusable water bottle for her. I think this one was from the Dollar Tree, honestly. And then I did, I used my Cricut to um, cut out her name in cursive. So I thought that was really pretty. So just her little Charlie water bottle. Then from the Dollar Tree, I picked up a bag of ring pops. You get four of them for a dollar, but I'm just going to put this one like reddish pink color in there. I also picked up this super random, like, what is it? A cat unicorn? Don't even know what it is, but it's a little lip balm, but I got it because the package of the lip balm is white. And I think I might take it out of this cardboard packaging just so it kind of like goes with the theme a little bit better. I, for the bridesmaids, I got them their little like alcoholic drink their wine or whatever it is, champagne, and then put the label on it that says pop the champagne. I'm changing my last name. Well, I also, since I was already making that order on Etsy, I got a label that was for the flower girl as well, but obviously she's five, she can't have alcohol. So I went to the dollar store and I found a sparkling apple juice little mini single bottle and I put the will you be our flower girl label on that. And I mean, it came out so freaking cute. Then on Amazon, I ordered those um, chocolate kisses as you saw. So I put a few in a little bag. These bags also from the Dollar Tree, you guys. Like, you can't beat this. This is definitely a little, you know, an inexpensive way to ask people to be a part of your bridal party. And then the last item item is a little bracelet something that she could wear day of. She doesn't have to, but I just thought it was really cute. It was like a little pearl stretchy bracelet and it has a little flower girl charm. This was from Etsy. And it also has like a little white flower on it, but I mainly got it because I thought it was really cute with the flower girl charm. And I just put it in one of the bags from the Dollar Tree. Then right when she opens the box, she will of course see her card, which I have not written out yet, but I got this from Etsy as well. It's just so cute. I mean, this looks so much like her, it's crazy. So that's her from the back. 
and it just says Charlie will you be our flower girl and then I'm going to of course write on the inside so that is what everything looks like once again everything will be listed down below and I think right now I'm going to try to place all of these items to be super cute in this box so the presentation is just there Who's that? Who's on the front? Me. It yeah. is you. What does it say? You want me to read it to you? It says, Charlie, in just a little while, your Nino and I will be walking down the aisle. We hope you say yes and lead the way. Will you be our flower girl on our special day? Will you, Charlie? Yes, I am. Yay! Oh. Get your own ring. Ooh, it's a ring. Your very own ring. Ooh. Get your own bottle Is that drink. for adult drinks that you get now? You get your own adult drink. Ooh. What is it say on it? Apple juice. Show, show, show your mom. Turn the bottle towards mommy. Let me see. Look at, so you're going to be the flower girl for yeah, Nina in the corner? I'm here. I'm here. I will be your flower girl. Yay. So, so that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions at all, don't forget to check that description box or you can leave me a comment. I would be more than happy to answer that for you. I hope I was able to help some of you guys get some ideas for your proposal boxes. It's always fun. I just felt like this was a super fun and inexpensive way to ask my girls to be a part of the big day. Um, I'm keeping in mind that I'm probably going to get them, I'm definitely going to get them some, something a little bit more expensive and something more substantial for closer to the wedding because I just want us to have matching everything. So uh, keep that in mind, but I just thought this was a nice little way to ask them to be a part of the big day and I'm just so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like because it really helps me out a lot and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.